It's time for the last leg of this trip to Asia on board Thai Airways A350 from Bangkok back to Stockholm. <laughs> I'm in business class today and I only booked this yesterday, so unfortunately I'm stuck with one of the seats that are closer to the aisle. You can see what a difference it makes. Here you're very exposed and you're further from the window, whereas in alternating rows you can be nicely nestled in toward the cabin wall and have a much more private experience. On top of that, this cabin isn't in the best shape. The carpets are worn and things look a bit scruffy in general. That engine sound, wow. There's no beating it if you ask me. What's your favorite engine sound? In cruise, the A350 is exceptionally quiet, though on this one we had this kind of high-pitched pulsating sound for most of the flight. It was a little annoying and not one I've had on other A350s. Anyone know what that is? Entertainment selection looks mediocre here, and what's worse, all the sounds seem to be out of sync. Not sure if that was just bad luck at my seat. We've got a nice moving map though, plus some mood lighting, so that'll do. The tray table opens in an interesting way. It's sturdy, so that's good. There were no menus on this flight, so I'm not actually sure what everything was exactly. The food was fine, but nothing amazing.
After dessert, everyone was handed a cheese plate with a pretty massive amount of cheese on it. If they'd asked, I'd have turned it down, but as it was, it just got wasted. Overall, the service was slow and haphazard. Flight attendants were friendly, but this was not a tightly run ship. It took around two hours after takeoff to be done with the dinner service, which on a post-midnight departure is a little rough. Most people are probably looking to get to sleep as soon as possible. There were a number of minor disappointments on this flight. Another one, Wi-Fi was not working at all, but nothing was said about that fact. A simple announcement would have done the job. But if you're planning to take this flight, all is not lost. You see, this seat turned into a really comfortable bed, far more comfortable than I was expecting. I slept solidly for several hours and it made the nearly 12 hour flight feel quick. I would have slept even longer if they hadn't started breakfast service two hours and 40 minutes before landing. This seems to be an issue with a number of airlines. Why on earth would you wake people up to serve breakfast only to have them sitting awake, not getting any more rest, for an hour and a half until landing? It doesn't make much sense to me. Still, I enjoyed the savory breakfast, and feeling well rested and with a beautiful day outside, I was pretty content at this point. I love the amenity kit pouches too, though the contents are pretty basic. Now please enjoy this landing into Arlanda.
in Stockholm for Flight Radar 24. I'm Gabriel Lee.